Good morning everybody, Jopke here and today's art journal page is very much inspired by the work of uh, Marima Small Art, uh, Marta. Um, I watched one of her videos uh, just the other day and um, I decided to uh, try and do something similar. So this is a piece of watercolor paper uh, which I um, put a little bit of clear gesso on and then I am gluing down some um, pieces of music sheet paper and I had a crispy white paper and also some older music sheet paper that was a bit yellower and I am gluing it all down with a tacky glue this time instead of a Mod Podge and uh, making sure I have a bit of texture on my page. And I'm also putting down some masking tape for even more texture and just ripping off some pieces and sticking them down to my page randomly. Also, uh, I'm tearing a bit. I have um, a, s a smaller size as well, so I'm using that as well. So this will give more texture to my page and once I've done all that I'm adding some uh, gesso, a heavy white gesso by Art Basics uh, with a spatula and that will give it more texture again um, and covering it with the gesso. So once that is dry I had this beautiful napkin of uh, pink blossoms and blue butterflies and birds and I decided to use that for my page and this time I'm using the Mod Podge and um, gluing down the pieces of the napkins, the, this part on the bottom and the bigger part on top of the page. This is an A5 size uh, watercolor paper and of course I will leave you a link to uh, Marta's uh, channel Marima Small Arts channel she has some great great tutorials on how to break a blank page uh, what you can do for uh, texture etc it's really um, great video so I would suggest you uh, go and see those especially if you are a beginner like I am um, well there's a lot to learn there so here I am <coughs> sorry adding some more color to the napkin and I'm using my Neo Colors 2 and a water brush and I am adding some pink to the flowers and some green to the leaves and I'm just taking the crayon and a wet brush uh, rubbing over the crayon and it will uh, give its color and that's a great way to um, bring in some uh, details and I kind of like the effect, it's, it looks like it's uh, a watercolor painting uh, this way. So this is a bright green one I use for the leaves and then uh, a kind of teal blue to bring out the birds a bit more. And the butterfly of course and also uh, using a light blue color for the background and I believe I am going back to the, the teal blue kind of color to add more contrast to the page and this is for the bird again So I haven't been recording for a few days, well, about a week, I guess. I was having a cold and not feeling all that well. And when, just when I thought I was feeling better, it all started again. 
So, but now I hope um, it's gone. I'm feeling much better. So probably this week I will feel like crafting again and uh, do some videos for you. So here I'm using the teal, the blue teal color for a bit um, coloring on the edges of the page. I was all sniffing and coughing and sneezing um, the last week. And that isn't all that charming on video, right? So a little needle tip bottle with an acrylic paint in it. And I just scribble a few tiny bits uh, here and there. And then I am stamping with the Stejan and my favorite stamp, a script stamp. And I'm told it's from Heidi Swap. It doesn't say it's from Heidi Swap, but a few of you told me that it is. So I use it a lot. I stamped a bit on the background and then I'm using the ink um, for inking. Um, the edges as well. So here, this is a charcoal, charcoal pen, a, a pencil to add some more shadowing. Uh, it didn't work uh, all that well, so I'm going back to my Stejan ink and use a sponge and a tool to uh, make some shadowing on the page. And here I am quite happy how it all turned out and I'm thinking what could I do more to this page. So again, another stamp. I believe this is one by Finna Bear. It has a kind of a fence pattern. So stamping a bit uh, on the edges mostly. A white acrylic spray paint to make some splatters. And then I uh, printed out this word awakening. Uh, it's already March and spring is soon to come. Uh, you wouldn't say so here in Holland because we have a lot of rain uh, the last week and uh, we are getting some more as well but uh, spring is on its way so um, the perfect title for this page I believe awakening and then adding the date and my signature and that's about it. Uh, remember to check my uh, description box uh, so you will see the link to Marima Small Arts channel. Thanks for watching guys and see you again very soon. Bye bye.